Biden-Harris 2020 has begun. The presumptive Democratic presidential running mates appeared together for the very first time. Joe Biden saying Senator Kamala Harris will show young girls, especially black and brown girls who feel overlooked, that they too can one day lead the country. But as Jennifer Johnson reports, President Donald Trump, true to form, is already making personal attacks against Biden's historic pick for VP. The Biden-Harris team has made it official, launching their bid for the White House. The Democratic ticket says they want to restore the soul of the nation. Kamala, as you all know, is smart. She's tough. She's experienced. She's a proven fighter for the backbone of this country, the middle class. We don't have to accept the failed government of Donald Trump and Mike Pence. In just 83 days, we have a chance to choose a better future for our country. Senator Kamala Harris, the daughter of a Jamaican economist and a cancer researcher from India, is the first black and first Asian American nominee for vice president. It is, in a sense, the American story. Immigrants who come here, who work hard, um, who raise their two daughters to think that there were no limits to what they could achieve. I think that's a story we will all look up to. When you commit Despite Harris clashing with Biden over his Senate record on race segregation during the Democratic presidential debates. And that little girl was me. The two mended fences. Many political experts and voters believe she's the person who can help Biden win in November. She lifts up so many communities and, and so many women. When I heard it, I literally had to pull the car over and I cried. It was just, you know, such, such a huge historic um, thing that's happened. Judge, U.S. You know, President Donald Trump, Trump has often criticized the first term senator, especially after her intense questioning Kavanaugh of Judge Brett Kavanaugh during his Supreme Court Kavanaugh. nomination hearings. That was just uh, a horrible thing the way she was, the way she treated now Justice Kavanaugh. And I won't forget that soon. Harris spent grades 7 through 11 in Montreal, where her mother taught at McGill University. She has taken on big banks as California's attorney general and criminal justice reform in the U.S. Senate. Now her sights are set on the White House. And if elected, Harris would become America's first female vice president. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington. In November, Americans may elect the first female vice president of the United States. We've been here before. The excitement, the buildup, the genuine belief that history for women could be made. But life had other plans. Our Eric Sorensen was at both national conventions that nominated the last two female vice presidential nominees. He says this time's different. Walter Mondale beat Joe Biden to the punch by 36 years. I looked for the best vice president and I found her and Jerry Ferraro. Geraldine Ferraro was hailed as a breakthrough in American politics, the first woman on the presidential ticket of a major U.S. party. The issue is not what America can do for women, but what women can do for America. It was exciting and bold, but America wasn't ready. Mondale Ferraro suffered an historic drubbing by the incumbent ticket, Ronald Reagan and George Bush. Governor. Sarah Palin. 24 years later, just the second woman VP nominee. They say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull, lipstick. Again, the excitement was real, but once more, short-lived. In hindsight, Mondale and McCain had each thrown caution to the winds, putting a woman on the ticket to energize flagging campaigns that seemed destined to lose. This is different. Joe Biden was and is in a strong position to win. Adding Kamala Harris, a woman of color, is not the gamble it once would have been. It's not a Sarah Palin gender pick. It is a substantive candidate who will partner with Biden. It will be historic because history has been harsh towards women in U.S. presidential politics. Seldom seen, never victorious. There have been 48 U.S. vice presidents. Look at all these vice presidents of the past. Is there one black person? No. 
Is there one woman who served as vice president? No. And the whole history of the vice presidency doesn't mirror our mm. glorious diversity. To replenish the Such social security trust. Such a nasty trust. woman. And attitudes of sexism still exist. Hillary Clinton faced them, and so will Kamala Harris. She was nasty to a level that was just... Uh, a horrible thing. But the polls suggest 2020 is a turning point. Biden at 77 may be a one-term president, paving the way for more history to be made. Not only did he pick a vice presidential nominee, but he probably also picked the frontrunner for the 2024 Democratic nomination and that it's a woman of color is, is a big deal. They were definitely in a new era. A new era in American politics. It's been a long time in coming. Eric Sorensen, Global News.